This doesn't mean necessarily that you have started specifically a new physical relationship with somebody, but I am getting the message here that there's going to be a lot of potential and opportunities for expansion around creating a fresh energetic container. Hello everyone and welcome to a reading where we are going to dive into the realm of love and the themes coming up for 2024. So I'm going to be using the Moonology Manifestation deck right here as well as the Tarot to clarify. I'm really excited to see uh, what Spirit has in store for you guys today and what spirit has in store for 2024 for love so what we're going to do is an overall theme to begin with i hope that you guys are doing well uh, if you're new to my channel welcome i'm alicia michelle glenn you can expect so many different things on my channel like holistic healing spirituality self-development everything from spirit astrology you know, human design, gene keys, high performance, whatever spirit and I need to share, we will share. So you're going to get a little bit of everything uh, this year. And I'm really excited for you to join me on my journey. So this year, one of the major themes you will be seeing within relationship, which is hilarious because we have Libra here. So we have the first quarter moon in Libra. This is keep your heart open. This year, the message that I'm getting in love is it feels like some of you guys have maybe gotten into either a new relationship or you're wanting to freshen things up when it comes to your relationship. So this doesn't mean necessarily that you have started specifically a new physical physical relationship with somebody, but I am getting the message here that there's going to be a lot of potential and opportunities for expansion around creating a fresh energetic container. So it feels like you guys are really needing to keep open to the opportunities that spirit have in store for you guys this year and really work well as a team. Something I'm getting as well is not being afraid of like kind of speaking what you need to speak, saying what you need to say in fear that the relationship doesn't really progress. This message here that I'm getting very strongly is there's going to be a lot of opportunity for growth. And if you want a long-term stable relationship, and that might not be for everyone, but I am tuning into a specific um, part of the collective here energetically. And this is the message for people who are really wanting to create a strong foundation. And that means cultivating the opportunities, creating the opportunities as well for you both to explore different things. So something might be where you read a book together around love. Love, and it, there are healing tasks and tools and tips where you guys can actually learn even more about each other there. So this um, energy here, Libra, is representative of committed partnerships, relationships, uh, contracts, things like that. So there is a real strong message here around um, it's just perfect that this is the, being the message when, um, you know, Libra is representative of partnership there. I'm just going to get another theme coming up for this year for us in 2024 to do with love. And then we're going to go into you uh, and a specific person. It could be your soulmate. You could be single calling somebody in. You could be just started dating. A lot of you will have just started dating there um, as well as if you've been in a long-term relationship, it's the opportunity to freshen things up. Maybe you guys have, you know, um, set a new plan for 2024 and this is going to be the year to really plant those seeds and see them start to blossom. This energy here is new moon in Gemini. This is think it through. So for some of you guys, this is interesting because it's the head and the heart coming up here. You've got keep your heart open and think it through. There's going to be a lot of, there could be um, different parts of you. Okay, so this part of you wants to follow your heart. This part of you wants to follow your mind. How can you actually start to merge these two aspects of self together? This is all about new beginnings. This is about newness, approaching things from a new and fresh perspective here. And I do truly feel that you guys are here to move mountains together. The one way you're going to be able to do that is actually start to understand your thought processes. How can you learn the art of communication? How can you clearly articulate what you need? And I find that, you know, some people who really struggle to keep their heart open here are people who don't really understand or know um, what their own values are, what they're wanting to create in life. So really think through your own relational values, what you desire, and actually put Put that forward to your partner and know that hopefully they as well are cultivating this energy of keeping their heart open alongside you. So I just want to go into some more general energy here just before we move on uh, with the tarot and clarifying just the overall general themes. Okay, 
Oh, I feel like some of you guys are in fear of heartbreak happening again. I feel like some of you guys maybe have just recently gone through that. So this is an opportunity to, you know, open your heart through hell. I know Ram Dass speaks a lot about, you know, having the courage to keep your heart open in the depths of hell when you truly feel like you have gone through the worst. Um, so maybe, you know, now's not the time to shut your heart off. This is an opportunity in relationship, in love, in connection to open back up your heart. This is an inevitable for every single one of us humans you know we're going to go through even minor heartbreaks within relationships but this is a fresh perspective this is a new beginning for you guys to put and set aside um, relational trauma that has really carried and been carried with you especially in the mind really understanding that your mindscape is incredibly uh, you know an, a, an important part of the manifestation process I do feel as well, this is the card of, you know, moving away here when it's upright. You may not know where you're going, but you've had the courage to kind of leave your mental stress behind is how I kind of see that. This is mental energy, right? The swords in the tarot are representative of mental energy. And I truly do feel that maybe some of you are really finding it hard to move on from heart past heartbreak. So really thinking through how is my thoughts affecting my behavior and how is my behavior affecting the creation of my life and what's coming up? Because it feels like once you acknowledge acknowledge what heartbreak you have experienced, you're able to move on to clearer, calmer waters. Um, you guys aren't in this anymore, right? Spirit are really showing you here that it's time to keep your heart open. So maybe you guys are single or recently single, um, and this is the time to actually open your heart up because there are and is a lot of opportunities for you waiting and really thinking through what it is you want before jumping into something new here. But we really need to kind of you know, this is how it came out. We really need to understand that in order to move away to clearer, calmer waters, we need to heal from the heartbreak that has kind of kept us hostage a little bit and kept us in a place where maybe we don't want to be. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go into your energy in love in 2024. What does spirit need you guys to know for love in 2024? Let's have a look. Love in 2024. We have got here full moon in Scorpio. Hello, Scorpio. Breathe through the tension. Okay, you guys are really going, you know, full moon is really about exposing, illuminating uh, the shadow and Scorpio is quite literally the definition of exposing and purging and death and rebirth and all of that. This, when I kind of tap into this card, there's a lot of energy here, right? This kind of looks a bit thick. How, how do I say it? It really feels um, like you may navigate through some thick terrain this year but if you can think it through if you can also keep your heart open throughout this process you will swim through the waters a lot easier than climbing um, up these tough terrains is what I'm seeing here um, and breaking through the tension you guys will have an opportunity in love this year it feels like teaming up with somebody or that could mean as well Libra doesn't also just represent you know romance it's the balancing and harmony within friendship. It's peace and it's, you know, contracts between people. It could be your relationship with someone in business. But yes, we're doing romance right now. But maybe you felt a lot of tension in your past relationship. And now it's time to actually break through that. But in order to do that, we are exposing some of the darker, more taboo aspects of your life and of your relational history and that is why the you know the um three of swords came out reversed um there as well so let's just clarify this card just a little bit here with the tarot so what exactly are we exposing what are we needing to move on from what are we processing in regards to relationship yeah interesting the judgment this is what i really find is like the spiritual awakening card here i feel like you kind of are on your knees going like this is the moment i need to make a decision but it's also knowing that your decisions can come from that of faith and really putting your faith and trust that spirit have your back when you walk away from something that you have been building up for so long this is the card that I find uh, it's a very bittersweet card because it feels like you have put a lot of effort emotionally into something but it's not quite the ten of cups it's not quite the 
energy of family that you really want to cultivate okay so this you may have to make a decision around walking away from something that you've put a lot of emotional energy into now this doesn't mean a person you might have invested a lot of emotional energy into a subconscious thought right you might have invested a lot of energy into believing or feeling that love is doomed and you've got to realize, is that going to get you to the Ten of Cups? Is that decision to keep, you know, trying to uh, build up these cups that aren't really going anywhere, is that the energy you want to be putting into the love and the life that you want to create? So this is going to be a real opportunity to make a judgment call around what is emotionally fulfilling you and what is not. And of course, in love, that is very, very, very important. But again, some of you guys may be walking away. It more feels like you're not walking away from a person because you've got a lot of new energy here around relationship. Again, of course, we're, we're in the collective. This is not an individual reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But I actually feel like you guys may be walking away more from the trauma that just isn't serving you anymore and spirit are going to wake you up to that because you've got the full moon in Scorpio here right this is incredibly scorpionic this energy just feels as if it's deep intense but it feels like you're much more I wouldn't I don't want to say in control because you know I don't really feel like we're in control of a lot but you are in control of how you process things and what decisions you make here on earth and it does feel like you will be prioritizing your utmost joy in 2024 so let's just get one more piece of clarity here what do you need to know spiritual guidance rise this star okay this is beautiful the reason why i love that this is paired with the scorpio energy here is because this can be a card of tension as we know this can be a card of intensity and death and rebirth and purging and exposing the lies or really diving into topics like money love taboo i'm um, sorry um sex drugs you know the law i don't know there's just a lot of taboo things that we still don't talk about and this is about having hope and faith in your dreams and in your wishes. But the thing I love here about this card is it brings a lot of um, naked truths, right? So it feels like, you know, you're being stripped down. Scorpio is a water sign as well. There's a lot of water in this card at the forefront here. And it feels like, again, you guys are going to be kind of, you may feel like one foot is in and one foot is uh, without when it comes to the dream of these new relationships or the new energy that you desire in a relationship. But the message I'm strongly getting is to strip it back, to simplify, and to be very strategic about how you move forward and how you start to create these dreams. It feels like you may even be more intentional about purging like I said, with intention, less about um, letting spirit kind of do it for you and coming across tower moments and things like that and actually choosing death from an empowered perspective because you know on the other end of that there are truths. This is raw authenticity. This is you being stripped back completely. Maybe your vision or your dream of what a relationship is will be completely stripped back. Maybe you're in a relationship currently and you just have realized how much ancestral truth trauma is being played out, played out and played out. And you're really ready to kind of take a step forward into your new dreams, into your new hopes uh, and wishes. And this is about, you know, a dream being fulfilled here too. So that dream is going to be fulfilled when you break and breathe through the tension that you have been holding in. So this energy here is your energy in 2024. Now, I want you to think about a person. I want you to think about either someone you're calling in, someone you're newly dating, somebody that you've been in a relationship. It really doesn't matter. Just feel into one person. You cannot change your mind. Let's see where they are at. Where is your soulmate at? Where is your twin flame? Whatever you believe. Where are they at in love? What do you need to know about the other person in love this year? You've got last quarter moon in Taurus. Be proud of yourself. Whoever you're dealing with here, um, you know, this is a very kind of, I want to say, obviously, earthy, earthy energy here. And it does feel like the person you'll be dealing with is being a bit more practical and needing to kind of reassess their uh, practical approach to life. And I feel like they're going to need a lot of words of encouragement. Now, this is, uh, they're on two different ends of the spectrum. So Scorpio and Taurus, my north nodes in Scorpio, actually, my south node is in Taurus. So I 
I definitely understand this push and pull dynamic. You will feel a little bit of this, right, this year. Um, but it certainly feels that, not that you'll be in your own lanes, but I feel like you guys being in your own lanes will support the union of you guys coming together, okay? Because you're both on different journeys. This is about you diving into your emotional depths, your emotional waters, um, you know, really healing a lot of that deep inner pain and um, processing that and using that as a form of empowerment, okay? Empowerment is the word. And this energy here is dealing a lot more with the practical elements of life. You know, this is about your self-worth, your possessions, material worth, your money you make, you know, things like that. And I do feel like this person's going to need a lot of encouragement. But if you're too swept up in your own Scorpio vibes here, you may kind of overlook how much this person is doing. Now, the message I have as well is just because this person may not be diving into the absolute emotional watery depths, it's because they're not being called there yet. They're being called to work with the Taurus energy, okay? They're about to be, this is a full moon, this is the last quarter moon, this is almost a full moon here, okay? So this energy here is really um, on the verge of a breakthrough. So this person may hear, you know, may find this year that they're kind of almost there, almost there. They're almost there. This is why they need to be proud of themselves for all the little things that they are achieving this year, even if it doesn't look like it's fully solid, um, it's been solidified yet. Okay. So let's have a look and clarify this person right here. Spirit, what do we need to know? Oh, we have a few energies coming up. I'm not going to take all of them unless you saw one. Trust what you saw. Do your research. Feel it out. But I am not going to choose all of them. I'm going to choose the one that flips out of my hand or falls out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sweet. Let's do it. Oh, both upright too. Sword energy. Okay. So mental strength. I mean, this is perfect, right? Because it's a new moon in Gemini. Think it through. There's a lot of... um mindset work that you guys are going to be doing both of you when we've clarified here this person here this other person you're feeling into are going to have a lot of breakthroughs around their mindset how to move forward with um absolute boundaries this person may though because they're new to this it kind of feels like although they know the way they may not know how to articulate it even the queen of swords knows how to articulate and communicate very clearly but i'm getting because this person has is on quite a new journey when it comes to um, understanding themselves and, and their impact in the physical world, they're learning to kind of set boundaries to support their evolution, okay? So they're learning to speak up. They may get things wrong a little bit, but this is new opportunities when it comes to um, mindset expansion. So it's interesting because I don't want you to project here your emotional healing onto this person who is more so needing to think a little bit more logically. That feels like the major difference between you guys and this other person this year. You guys are really in the yin yang energy. I feel like you're a lot more in the feminine energy um, and this other person's more in the masculine energy when it comes to navigating through your differences this year. So you may come from more of a feeling um, background, but it feels like this person needs to actually understand more about mindset, maybe putting feelings aside a little more and kind of just going and doing and taking action from there. Whereas you're needing to look emotionally under the surface. You're needing to dive a little bit deeper that's what's being exposed. Um, so your ways of navigating through your differences are going to be different uh, this year. So it's not as if you're both going to be more emotionally healing. Your emotion and this person is a little bit more um, practical and mindful is how I want to say it. So that's you guys' energy here. Let's just go for kind of an overall energy between you. And what does spirit need you to know about the near future? What do they need you to know about how to make this work with ease and grace? You've got a new moon here in Aquarius. Open up to change. It feels like what this is, I love this energy here. I absolutely love this card as well, actually. It's very soft, but you know there's like radical, you can feel radical change because Aquarians don't necessarily, they are known as a bit rebellious, but they rebel for good reason and to bring humanity together. So um, I do want to say that it feels like you guys have to be open to how you navigate through change 
change this year. So some of you are keeping your heart open. Some of you are more thinking it through. Depends who you are and what you resonated most with. It does feel like, though, the cause between you both, meaning the thing that's bringing you guys together, is a bigger mission this year. I feel like you guys will maybe not so much put your personal stuff aside, but you'll kind of... I feel like you guys are really coming into alignment with your each and individual purpose and that's actually going to help cultivate a really strong relationship maybe up until this point especially if you've been in a relationship for a while or you've been in and out of relationships with other people it's very self-driven this feels more like you're opening up to your greater purpose in life and how you can be of service to the collective in a really beautiful way how can you you know share your unique contribution with the world the way you're going to do that is through emotional purging and healing and that understanding of self on a deeper level and a deeper layer and this other person is more so going to be working in the practical realm but this energy really kind of balances itself out here because it feels like this person here is going to focus more on the physical realm right the physical reality and then this person uh it will allow you really to be able to dive into that emotional depth because you will have created a sacred container so let's just go um that last little bit here last piece of clarification on the overall future and what you guys need to know around new moon in aquarius if we can channel new moon nope we are not doing all of those cards we are not doing all of those cards i will pick from those cards though notice how i speak with spirit you guys can be empowered enough to do the same the same i encourage you to learn all of these modalities yourself so that you can actually rely on you and you don't have to constantly see psychics and things like that so learn astrology learn how to read cards all of the things you can do that on my channel as well all right, so this feels like in order to make this work, all right, opening up to change, we are clarified by some of you guys uh, aren't really wanting to be seen. Um, this feels, when this card comes up upright, right, I love, I'm obsessed with this card. Um, this is a very like proud card, which is what this other person's working on this year. And it's around receiving accolades and achievement and being seen by the community and kind of not pedestaled, but proud, proud to have achieved something. And it does feel like if we clarify these two together, I must admit, it kind of feels like because this came up reversed, some of you are wanting to take that relationship to the next level maybe you want to be seen in different ways you will certainly be seen in your processes this year um, and it does feel like maybe there's a bit of fear around the conflict that that can create because the fire the wand energy is the element of fire and that can feel a little bit like tension um, and you know but alchemy right it's turning lead into gold and it feels like if you can bear with each other's processes and really truly see the other person and how they're opening up to change this year then you guys can actually be seen and work together i'm just going to get one more piece of um clarification here angel spirit guides there we go popped out beautiful all right <laughs> king of wands there we go so here's the fire energy all right it's not looking away from what you actually want which is to be seen loved heard and desired within relationship of course but that is going to require change and in some case because it's the aquarian energy that can be in random ways like aquarius energy is never consistent for me when i meet aquarians they're also different um so be open to change in weird wacky and wonderful ways this year and you need to do something different in the relationship there needs to be more passion fire and adventure um, but this is again cultivating purpose remember how i said before that you know you guys may be actually discovering your bigger missions your unique contribution to the planet this person the king of wands knows exactly that they're doing just that they're creating change through vision all right as well so using that imagination um, using the fire element to actually get you guys going to take action towards the change you wish to see in the world so again your processes may be a bit different this year but you are very much in alignment but the thing is that i love most about this reading is that it's for a greater purpose than just the two of you so i must admit it really does feel 
as if you're getting used to each other's processes this year, but you're ultimately working towards something that is going to shift the way that people move forward in relationship. Some of you guys are going to be just redefining what relationships mean to you. Again, you're going to have to walk away from some of the emotional stuff you've invested in that honestly just don't work anymore and opening up to change, keeping your heart open in this new relationship or in the new fresh energy that you guys want to create here and also not being afraid of thinking it through just that little bit more, understanding that the mind is an expression of the heart and of the soul, that it can all work together. So guys, I really hope that this reading helped, um, you know, you navigate through what you've been intuitively feeling for the year ahead of 2024. Again, this is the Moonology Manifestation deck that I have used. If you guys want to learn a little bit more about how to work with me on a deeper level in any capacity, you will see my resources below. You will see my email address below. Um, you will see my Google reviews, all the things. If you guys want to get to know me and my work just that little bit more, I would be more than happy to get in contact with you or comment below. Remember to like, subscribe and share to anyone who you feel would resonate with what Spirit and I have to share with you throughout my channel. Thank you.